HVAC units can be costly to repair or replace, so you want to make sure yours is in good working condition. Now would be the perfect time to give it a little DIY HVAC inspection to make sure it's ready for warmer weather. Now, this may seem daunting, but I'm here to show you how it's done. Make sure that your thermostat is working properly by checking that the heating and cooling mechanisms turn on and off. You can also open it up and carefully clean it with a cotton swab. Find the corresponding switch on your breaker box and turn off power to the inside unit. On your outside unit, you'll want to turn off the on-off switch because you're going to be removing parts of that unit. Grab a screwdriver and a wrench to detach the top of your fan cage. Then you'll take your wet dry vac and you'll clean any debris that's in the interior. Take a hose and spray the fins on the inside of your unit, washing it away debris. You can also use a thin cleaning spray that you can purchase at a local hardware store but don't use anything too powerful like a pressure washer. It can damage the fins. After that, you can reattach your fan cage. It's important to keep at least two feet of distance between your unit and any vegetation or plants. Also, don't cover your unit unless you want critters to move in. Like your foundation, an HVAC unit can shift over time. A condenser that isn't level can shorten the life of your compressor. So if your unit isn't level, use rot resistant shims to fix it. After you're done with the external unit, it's time to clean the evaporator coil. On your internal unit, open the evaporator coil door and give it a good dusting. Spray it with commercially available no rinse coil cleaner. This will then turn into foam, which will drip into your drain pan, which you should then plan on cleaning with hot water, soap, and a tiny drop of bleach. If you notice the interior unit's evaporator drain is clogged, suck out any debris using a wet dry vac. Anything blocking the flow of runoff water can cause flooding and tons of other issues. The filter is the most common cause of HVAC malfunctions. If you don't change your filter regularly, it can cause major problems because it's what traps debris from your unit. You can get away with changing it every three months, but to be on the safe side, change it once per month. If visible ductwork has any leaks, you can repair them with duct tape. You should also be prepared to unscrew and examine all of the air vents in your house to make sure that there is no debris. If you notice a major issue with your unit, do not be afraid to call the pros. All repairs and replacements should always be done by a licensed professional. However, if things are working well, you've changed your filter, you've cleaned all debris, then you should be ready to roll with whatever weather comes your way. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave us a comment below and let us know what tips you want to see from us next.